Hey, Two Geek Crew, this is Ed again. Real quick before we finish this off, we're talking to Milk from a shop called Quest. If it wasn't for this guy, none of these pin, this pin show would be here. I want to thank you for that, man. Um, we're really into it. Uh, if it wasn't for you, I know like I wouldn't know half of these pin guys. Uh, I think what you're doing is really cool for the community. Um, you know, anything you want to share with us about that? It's just like you said. Like I think a lot of people are digging the whole pin and patch movement, and we just saw an opportunity where we saw uh, a missed opportunity where people really aren't, weren't connecting with the brands that were like pushing a lot of this stuff out. And the more that we dealt with them on a personal level, the more it was obvious that a lot of these people are really cool. Like they're they're really good people, and they're just artists. And like how many how so many scenes started like the poster scenes or the t-shirt scenes or like you know graphic design as a scene in general or whatever like they always evolve into different facets or different parts or different avenues and this is one of them but nobody was centralizing it to a point where it was really about the vendors and the makers and that's what we wanted to do and that's what we're, we're trying to do so little by little no, and I, I could tell it's a great community, man. Everybody's here enjoying themselves. Be, I, be, I've met new people, you know, people I've known before. Right. You know, Julio I've, I've talked to, I've been a big fan of. And I mean, I know you carried his stuff. And then through the store, you know, I kind of like Benji's artwork from his pins. Right. Yeah. Hey, is there any um, anything in the future coming up? Like, I mean, artists to look out for? Um, yeah. Artists to look out for? We're going to be adding more artists to these shows. We do this show every quarter. It bounces back from the shop to then to another shop and then back to us and then to another shop. So the next one I think is going to be right across from Amoeba Music in the Hollywood area. And we're going to be announcing some of that because there's a musical performance aspect of all that. Um, it's going to be kind of a big show. And then after that uh, winter fall time, we're going to be at Hutch LA. So we'll be bouncing this over there. Because that's another thing about this whole scene is that we didn't want it to be um, a shop called Quest's thing. Like, it deserved to be bigger than that. So we wanted to bounce from store to store. So we've done it at Friend Mart before, which is Tuesday Basin and a world famous originals shop out in Chinatown. We've done it here a couple times. And then we're going to bounce back up to Hollywood or bounce over to Hollywood, over to there. And then we also got Comic Con coming up. So we'll be taking the roadshow, a lot of the stuff from the vendors here, we're gonna be taking with us to Comic-Con, to our booth, uh, Complex Con as well, and Designer Con. So, yeah, there's, there's stuff uh, going on at Pin and Patches. Yeah, guys, I mean, if you want some really good stuff, I mean, add to your pin collection, add to your patch collection, even add to your sticker collection. Uh, just follow the, a shop called Quest. Like you said, they're gonna be at Comic-Con. Do you know what booth number yet? Uh, it's 17 something. <laughs> so yeah, walk around the 17 somethings. Everybody right. knows Comic Con's really small. It should be easy to find. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to be it's packed. Really, yeah, it's, it's not. Real intimate. Yeah. <laughs> really. Anybody yeah. Knows? Real intimate with the big movie studios. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, well, so you know what? Speaking of Comic Con, any survival tips out there? Uh, just hydrate. Bring an umbrella. Uh, Stay cool. Those cool packs that you're going to break apart and then get cool. Like, that's really what it's about. It's like if you're ever outside in a line or Hall H or trying to do any of that stuff, just be prepared. Water, snacks, somebody has a backpack, somebody brings a rolling cart. Like, there's just like, it's almost like planning for a, a, a plane trip or something. Like, just be prepared. Yeah, man. I mean, those lines get long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we just sit there sometimes. You're just like, all right, 20 minutes later, you move 10 feet and then you sit back down. So. Yeah, if you got a cool pop-up chair or something, I don't know. Like, uh, essentials, water, hand sanitizer. I learned. Oh, really? Yeah, that. Because there's a lot of free hugs and handshakes, and so yeah, <laughs> you don't know where those hugs have been landing. <laughs> but no, that's gonna be. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, Comic Con's amazing. So we've done that a couple years. Um, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So we got some special stuff that we're going to be announcing really, really soon because we have an ongoing uh, collaboration with one of the biggest toy manufacturers in the world. So, uh, yeah, people don't know yet, but oh. knowing is half the battle. Ah. So there you go. I think I keep an eye on that now. See, now you're making me feel better. I only bought one day. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I wish I got all five oh, days. Yeah. You'll get all the, all the hookups and everything. So. <laughs> yeah, just be on the lookout. Shop Cold Quest, Comic Con, Decon, Complex Con, Complex Con. 
Uh, pop-up stops. We, uh, you have pop-ups here all the time. We do uh, Johnny Cupcakes, which is scheduled to be back in October. Um, we've been holding a lot of comic signings. Uh, Brian Lee O'Malley. We had just had Jim Food in here. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of, of comic activity, pen and patch activity, just artist activity. It's almost less about like what the, what medium they're using and more just about what their creative outlook is. And that's what, you know, that's why I think pen and patches just work really well in a comic book shop, weirdly enough. So. Oh, and also, if you do not know, every Wednesday night they have uh, the two, uh, two book minimum. Mm -hmm. You buy two books, you get a PAPS. And they also, you guys also put uh, paper out on the table. Mm -hmm. You draw, draw, yep. drink and draw. Yeah, if you get two books, you get one. If you buy three books, you get two. If you buy three books, you get four. It's a pretty good deal. And then also July 1st, I don't know when you guys are going to set this out, but July 1st, we're doing the first ever PAPS group show. And so like Sket One, Jim of Food, uh, there's a bunch of people. Victor Coast from like Rebel A, Graham Nystrom from Huff, uh, David Baker from Pink Dolphin. Uh, there's a bunch of people in the show. So that's July 1st here uh, from 6 to 9. Uh, July 1st, guys, 6 to 9. Try to make it down. Get that shift cover from work. Right. Call out sick. Nobody questions diarrhea. Just, just <laughs> saying it right now. <laughs> there you go. All right. And you know what? Again, thank you very much, Milk, for putting this all together. Uh, everybody here at the Soft Cold Quest, this is super effing cool, guys. Come down in your free time. Look at their, what they have in stock. They have a really, I, I believe you guys have one of the big selections along with Hutch on pins and patches. Right. Uh, you guys are just, both of you guys are killing it. Yeah, I think if we don't have it and they don't have it, it's not worth having. So there you go, yeah. like, there you go. Yeah, all right, well, Milk, before we uh, send you off, you wanna plug anything? Yeah. Uh, a shop called Quest. Uh, you can look at my Instagram because I do I do design work for a lot of these vendors too. So uh, pick up the St. Moss pin from Moving Silence. Pick up the Nobody Asked You pin from Little Bullies. And pick up some stuff from Benji because he's a super cool dude. And everybody else too. Like It's crazy. Nerd pins, Nostalgia Vault. I'm going to start naming them all. But Dirty. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So thanks guys. All right, thanks guys. You guys have a good one. <laughs>